All right, welcome back everyone. We are on our 90 days security challenge, okay? Uh, be with me till the end because you are going to learn something really important about security control functions. Let's get started. All right, so I know that as of now, we have talked a lot about, uh, you know, security controls, what are those? Uh, we have learned about risk assessment as well. But now this is very important. Uh, I know this sounds very professional terms, very professional keywords, but remember that this is what you really need to talk once you are on your job. Once you are coordinated with your senior management folks, uh, you know, high level uh, security managers as well, right? So let's understand, we have discussed about physical controls, we have discussed about um, you know, technical control and administrative control as well in our uh, last video which was about the con security controls. This is just to give you an idea about control function and how can you classify them, all right? So you see, this is again a technical, sorry, that's pretty, pretty large. You don't need that large for sure. Okay, wonderful. So you see, this is again a physical control that we talked about. We see the technical control as well and the administrative control. Now what's special about it, we are going to categorize all three based on the preventive controls, detective control, and the corrective control. You see the how, how exactly it's gonna work is, with the preventive control, we are preventing the threats. We are preventing the threats to occur itself, okay? And this, this is not possible for all kind of threats, right? You can't prevent DDoS attack to happen. You can't really prevent any kind of a threats to come. What you can do is you can actually apply a solution where you can take care of most of the threats, but you can't, you know, uh, you can neutralize it. You can't zero is the entire threat by making use of preventive controls. So if you talk about the physical uh, control, it can be for physical world, it could be fence, gates, lock, okay? For the physical con physical type of control, the detective control is more about you know getting the uh, identifying the threats, okay, and let the uh, let the technician to respond on it, okay. So that's where we have CCTV, surveillance mechanism, camera locks, and everything, right? And when you talk about the corrective control, that's where we perform some kind of a response. We have identified that, you know, there is a challenge, there is a threat. Now, how to respond to it, that's all come under the corrective control. That's where we fix the problem. So repairing the physical damage, the reissue, the access cards and everything. Okay, if the access card has been compromised, so we reissue that. Now, uh, next in the technical controls, the, there are different control function. If you talk about the preventive control, that's where we have firewall, we have IPS, we have multi-factor authentication solution and device as well. You would ask why, why Rajneesh, why it is preventive control? Because that's where you are allowing the software to handle it, to, to let them, uh, to stop the threats to getting installed on your machine, okay? It's, it's preventing the threats to be installed on your computer. So that's why it is preventive in nature. When you talk about the firewalls, firewall has got a set of rules, right? It takes your source IP address, destination IP address, and certain port. If that doesn't fall, if the traffic doesn't fall under any of those rules, it will be denied by default, right? So that's preventive, okay? And um, if you talk about the detection, uh, detective control in, in the technical sense, then we have the IDS solution. IDS is basically where you allow the system, allow the platform to just identify the threat, just keep an eye on different kind of threats but not allowing it to do the to uh, respond it you the you are not allowing the uh, ids software itself to respond the threat usually the ids is installed on the firewall itself and just in another license or blade we say then we have honeypots now honeypot is very interesting it is a way of making you know you make a kind of your own uh, you know, a honeypot system, lucrative system for hacker to come and hack your environment. That's where you look at their patterns, you, you know, look at different kind of, uh, you know, traces that they have before hacking into your network, they might, uh, you know, hack to your honeypot network. 
so a, a very advanced kind of a solution in the honeypot is called de deception okay deceptive deception solution is also very interesting next in the corrective method if you found any threats now you have found a malware or you know any kind of a threat on your computer as well or maybe it's server or system you then you know take an action you eradicate it you know you contaminate and then you work on eradication and then responding to the threat that's where you work on the patching the system maybe there was any bug or vulnerability uh, which led the system to get compromised now you wanted to fix it right so reboot the system quarantine a virus in case of administrative system that's where you know the preventive threat it's the hiring termination policies you make sure you do the proper background check, uh, separation of duties, data classification, all those stuff, right? And in detective control, you have review access rights. You l look at every audit logs, who, who is logging to what, uh, if somebody is doing the privilege escalation, you know, maybe he's a normal user, now he's trying to access to the admin privileges, there should be a log generated in the behind, right? So the audit logs, unauthorized changes so for that you organization make use of file entry integrity software as well that's where for every privilege access or privilege accounts there has to be a very detailed log generated finally corrective method is the implement a business continuity plan or incident response plan this is very important business continuity plan includes disaster recovery as well so if something goes wrong everybody in the team knows what to do okay so the it team know what, what to do the you know, server team know how to do the back uh, how to take the backup network team know how to change the routing firewall team understand what are the changes they have to do in the security all right so this is all about security control function that's where we have learned about preventive detective and corrective functions for control function all right so i hope that was useful we'll catch you in the next video thank you Thank you.